Hello, my beetles. It's Miss Victoria. How are you guys today? Good? I miss you. I love you. I send you my light and I send you so much love and protection and um, I want you to know how much you mean to me. You mean so much to me. You have made me the absolute most happiest teacher in the whole wide world and you have taught me so much just by being you and you inspire me every day and I hope you know that I'm here for you and um, that I am still here and I still think about you every day and uh, that I miss being at Happy Hearts with you but that my my heart is still there with you in spirit okay so with that all being said Let's do our new words of the week. So, the first week of words, we had the and a of and that. One, two, three, look at me. Dee, dee, dee. I can read the words the and a of that. Ta da! So those were week number one words. Week number two words. This was last week. Did anybody remember what this says? B U T, but N O T not W E we H A D had and S H E E she. So but but not we had she. One, two, three, look at me. Dee, dee, dee. I can read the words, but, not, we, had, and she. Whee! So that was week one. This was week two. And now, without further ado, can you please give me a drum roll? Brrr. Week three! So, instead of showing you the printout version, we are going to create it with this piece of paper, these paints, this paintbrush, and this cup of water. So, here we go. So, the first word of the week is they, which is T-H-E-Y, they, like they went to go get ice cream, or they are my best friends, or they are so kind, or they said I could play here, okay? So those are some different ways that you can use the word they. So we've got, let's draw our rainbow first, shall we? We'll do the stroke of the rainbow and the word. So, all right, can you guys see? Great. So we'll do our stroke of the rainbow for the red of our rainbow. How does it look? Good? Good, thank you. Oop, I just got some paint on my table. Good thing it's washable. All right, you guys can use your flour tray or salt tray still, or you could try painting with me this week. So the first letter of the word they is T. So we'll do an uppercase T, which is a line across and a line down. The next letter in the word they, in our sight word they, is H. 
So what sound does the letter T usually make? T, T, right? Like tree. We're studying trees this week. So T, T, tree. What, let, what sound does the letter H usually make? Ha, ha, like heart or harper, right? So what happens when T and H become best friends? So it happened in two words in our first week. The. Does this say taha or tahi? No. When T and H became best friends for the word the, it made the sound th, th, right? Can you do that sound with me? It's a little silly, but put your tongue in between your teeth and you go th, right? The. And then the second word that that happened in was the last word of that week, the first week. And that was our blue word, that. So does this say to hat? No, right? So we combine, these became best friends, and it makes the sound that, right? T-H-A-T, that, th, that, not to hat, that. So the same thing is going to happen for the word they, right? So what's the sound that T-H make together? Right? All right, the third letter of the word they is E. So let's make a little E. Go around, swirl around, and down. It's a lowercase E. So what does that word say, T H E? The! But we're adding one more letter to make it a different word. And that letter is going to be Y. Okay. T H E Y spells the word they. T H E Y spells the word they. Like, hey, they ate my ice cream. All right, so that is our first word of the week, boys and girls. That's number one. So we're going to do a little one here. Okay, ta-da! So what does that spell? T-H-E-Y, they. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the other four words but you don't have to practice those quite yet, okay? We're just gonna introduce you to everything today so that we can finish our rainbow, yay! What is the next color in the rainbow? Orange. So let's make our orange line in our rainbow, okay? Ta-da! And remember, why was A, why was A super? Bum, ba da bum, super A. Because she was both a letter and a word all by herself. So our second word of this week is the word I. And I is super A's super fantastic sidekick. And that is because I is also bum ba da bum super I. I'm gonna do a little two here because this is our second word. Okay, so bum ba da bum super I. He's both a letter and a word. So let's go ahead and make our super I. Let's get a blank paper. Hmm. I'm going to reuse another piece of paper so that we don't waste anything because, oh, there's Super A. Bum, ba da bum, Super A. Because we don't like to waste paper, right? We like to protect Mother Earth. Okay. Let's make our Super I, shall we? Let's get orange because he's going to be orange. And 
when the word I is by itself, it is never lowercase. It is always a, an uppercase or a capital I. Okay, so it's never the small I, the line with the dot on top. It's always this big I. All right, so there we have our I. Let's make him super. Bum, ba -da -bum. Let's do a little cape. Wow, super I, you're the best. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. All right, so here's our cape for I. Now he needs a face. So let's make a little face for you, Super I. And we got him do an eye on his cape. And how about some muscles? Let's do his muscles in his body color, which is an orange or a red. Let's do your muscles here. Mm. Let's give him purple muscles so that they stand out a little bit more. Why not, right? Purple there and purple there. What do you think? Bum ba da bum, super I, who is both a letter and a word. And he is super A's assistant and cousin. So that is bum ba da bum, super I. All right, now let's go back to our list. We've got red and orange so far. Thanks, Super I. Thanks, boys and girls. See you soon. Gotta love that Super I. The next word in our rainbow list, red, orange. What comes next? Yellow. So I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in here to, to change the color. And you know what? You should be able to see these paints. Silly Miss Victoria. And we're going to do yellow. Where's the yellow? Can you find the yellow? Good job. The yellow's over here. You're so smart. You're so smart. Okay. Let's do it down here. So we're going to do Y. You, so it's Y, 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 you, right? Y makes the sound Y, Y, right? So Y, you, what do you think is next? It's an O. Y, O, so that says yo, like yo-yo. And the last letter of the word you is exactly what it sounds. It's a U. Y, O, U. Y, O, U. And this is our third word of the week. So I'm getting, Miss Victoria is going to write a little three. All right. <gasps> Oopsie. Miss Victoria forgot to do the rainbow. So we're going to get some more yellow. Here's our rainbow up here, and we're going to give it some yellow. Ta-da! Okay, so this week's words. They, I, you. They, I, you. The fourth word of the week is, what comes next in the rainbow? Red, orange, yellow. What comes next? 
That's right, green. Green. So, got our green paint. Okay. And the fourth word, so we're going to write the number four. All right, that's number four, is the word is. I S I I I is S is and this word you would use this word like is this word green? Yes, the color is green, right? Or is Miss Victoria happy? Yes, or is my coffee hot? No, not anymore. Is it good? Pretty good. Is it as good as Painting? No. Painting is much more fun. So those are some ways that you can use the word is. So you can practice using the word is in a sentence or you can find it in a scavenger hunt in your books. Okay? So, oops, did Miss Victoria add the green color to our rainbow? Nope. So we've got to go back and do that. So let's get some green and add it right in to our rainbow. All right, what is our last color of the rain? I mean, yeah, what is our last, the next word, the next color? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Can you find blue? We've got a few different choices. We've got this blue, this blue, this blue, this blue, this blue. I'm gonna use this dark blue so it's nice and easy to see. This word is our fifth word of the week. So Miss Victoria is going to make a little five. Look at that. Should have given myself more room, but oh well. Okay, this word is from. F, f. What do you think is the first letter if it's f, f, from? F, right? Like fish. From. F, f. So it's. F F Okay. And then fur r r r is the next letter. Ah uh, ah uh, or o oh. Uh, o is O. For uh, O. M. From. What do you think is the last letter of the word? M. M. Like mommy or mountain. Okay. Here we go. F R O M. How about our rainbow? Shall we add blue to our rainbow? Yes, we shall. Let's add it up here. Beautiful. Okay. So this word is F-R-O-M, from. Like, if you're writing a letter, you can say, um, dear Beatles, I love you, from Miss Victoria. Or you can say, I just traveled all the way from France. Or you can say, even though, did I really? No, of course not. Um, what else could you say? Um, this is a gift from me. Um, or I am from a certain place. You could say that your name and you could say where you're from, right? So F-R-O-M from. 
So our words of the week, they, I, you, is, from. So that's just our quick intro for this week to all these words. I hope you had fun painting with me. Shall we add some purple to our rainbow? Yeah, and then maybe we can add some pink? Okay. All right, so let's add some purple at the bottom. Do, do, do. And let's add some pink at the top. Because why not? Right? Okay, there's our rainbow. And in purple, we usually say, one, two, three, look at me. Do, do, do. I can read the words they, I, bum, ba, da, bum, super I, you, is, and from. Okay, so those are going to be our words of the week featuring bum, ba, da, bum, super I. And we are going to practice them all week. So you've got lots of time to learn them and practice them. Do we have to get everything right the first try? No. How about the second try? Of course not, right? We just always do our best and that's all that matters, okay? So today, I just want you to practice this first word. T-H-E-Y spells the word they. If you get rid of the Y, what word is that? The. If you add the Y, it's they. Okay? So you can practice. You can paint the word. You can write the word. You can use a marker. You could, you could write the word outside in chalk. You could use salt or flour if mommy or daddy could set you up. You can use shaving cream if mommy or daddy says it's okay. So set yourself up and practice this only this first word the word they today, okay? Then tomorrow we'll practice a new word, okay? So I love you, good luck, I'm so proud of you, and I know that you can do it, and don't forget to sing the song at the end. So when you can recognize the word they, you can say, one, two, three, look at me, dee, 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 I can read the word they, they, right? And you can even find this special word in a favorite book at home, okay? And send me a picture if you find that. Okay, Mr. Fuzzy, that's all for today. I love you, boys and girls. All right, we love you. We miss you. We'll see you very soon. And have fun with the word they. And these are our rainbow words for the week. See you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.